wedding may be seen as an investment in the future of a marriage and in addition to the cash cost, the bride, groom, families and friends pour oodles of love, time and effort into the event. When it's all over, only the memories remain, which is why the wedding photographer plays an essential role. Shazad Ali has become one of South Africa's most sought after wedding photographers and he's assembled a team to help him take bridal photography to a new level. He's booked up months in advance, so when he invited me to join them behind the scenes as they shot his latest catalogue, I jumped at the opportunity. Awesome. So what you do is bring your chin down slightly. Everyone tells you your wedding day goes by in the blink of an eye, and it really does. Before you know it, you're hugging the guests goodbye and wishing you could do it all over again. This got me thinking about wedding photographers and the type of person who undertakes this stressful job. So I decided to meet up with Shazad Ali to find out why he chose this beautiful and a little bit stressful career. Hey Zakia, how are you doing? Lovely to meet you. You too, you too. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see how these images come out. We have our whole team here, we're preparing for our vintage fantasy style shoot and uh, we decided to go for more of like antique colours. Shazad, can anyone develop a photographic eye? Well, not really, you have to have some experience working with brides. Wedding days are really stressful and it's really fast moving, you have to think on your feet. So I feel like the creativity comes with experience. Okay, I'm gonna let you get back to this, but I'm gonna pick your brain later. Thank you. <laughs> Bring that hand closer to your chest. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. I think let's change over to the next look. Can I sneak a peek? Sure. Look at how moody that is. You'd never think it would translate like that. I wanted that kind of moody look to it. Where did you grow up, Shazad, and how has that influenced the way you see the world? I grew up in Chatsworth, south of Durban, and I studied law. Photography was my escape to earn extra money as well. So I went on a trip to Cape Town with a friend of mine, and she saw a picture that I took, and she ended up booking me for her wedding, which ended up being like a snowball effect. So you are completely self-taught? I'm 100% self-taught. I normally go for workshops every year just to improve, get in with the latest photography trends. What power does the camera give you? It gives me the freedom to explore, especially with weddings. There's a lot of emotions involved, a lot of joy, families getting together, and you show it to your clients afterwards and they like, fabricated up how you got that shot. What inspired the theme for today? I was tired of sunset, airy-fairy shots, so we wanted to try something different, try to recreate night during day, so that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna let you get back to it while I chat to the team. Kajal, the camera absolutely loves you. Thank you so much. Keshni, I love this look. Thanks, Akia. So, Shazad wanted a very regal, vintage look, so we went for deep, smoky eyes. I also used a dark burgundy or a purpley kind of eye to tie that together and a deep purple lip. For hair, we went for a low bun, keeping it almost South Indian looking. How exquisitely detailed. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What is the significance of henna? Throughout the Middle East, India, parts of Africa as well, brides use it to adorn themselves as part of the wedding rituals. So throughout history, there have been cases of henna being used in coming of age ceremonies and births as well. How do you go about deciding on the designs for a bride? Some brides have specific requests. Either they want portraits done or they like the mandala theme. Some of them come to me with pictures of their dresses and those are the things that inspire me. Serious guys, serious guys. Blow it, yeah, blow it. That is absolutely stunning. Abdul, can you take us through the looks for today? These outfits were inspired by us looking at current fashion. For this look, we tied up a velvet scarf to match up the gold colors for the groom and the brides. Everything is made tailored to their sizes, where the bride is also happy and the groom is also smiling. Okay, cool, I think that's a wrap. Well done, everyone. It's been a good day. <laughs> Shazad, are you attached or detached when you're taking wedding photos? 
I am very attached. I love getting involved in every little single detail. A lot of the Hindi and Tamil weddings that I shoot, there's a ton of rituals. So I like to get involved, I like to join in. I've had a few aunties come and mess me with Hardi while I get my camera messed. I love getting to know my clients beforehand, just so they can be comfortable with the camera on the day, so it's not like you're kissing in front of a stranger on the wedding day. Let's go chat some more. Sure. What do you enjoy most about being a wedding photographer? Meeting new people, meeting new families, seeing new families come together. I think that's what I love most about wedding photography. When I hand over the images to the clients, they're completely amazed by it because it's not something they actually viewed on the day. I created something different for them. What is your favorite part of a wedding to capture? That's when the bridal couple meet. You get a lot of emotion in the images, which make the images stand out more. It makes it more sentimental to the client as well. I once had a bride cry, spoiled her whole makeup, but she didn't care because she saw the groom for the first time. And on the wedding day, it was amazing. Well, you've made me feel incredibly comfortable today. Thank you so much for the day. Thanks, it was a pleasure having you guys, yeah.